my subs hit me up in the email. And when he see the video, he'll know I seen it because I ain't reply. Because I forgot. But uh, shout out to Davion. That was his uh, email. And he put me on game because I wasn't even paying no attention. You know how, you know, you're getting close to the holiday season. You stacking, you grinding, you busting your ass out here. And I hadn't paid attention to it. And then he pointed out that they announced Harrison and Charlo too. And they did the press conference already. And Bud and Ingus, the meme machine, had already been done. And they haven't done a press conference for it yet. Even for Lopez and Comey, there's been no press conference. I've heard what's going on with Comey Camp and, and stuff of that nature. I mean, excuse me, with, uh, with Comey Camp and Lopez. I've heard from both of them uh, about what they got going on. I know Lopez is training, is sparring with Barashnik, and so is uh, Yurik is getting bored. They all in camp together. But let's talk about how top rank is uh, not promoting and putting any, uh, how can I say it, putting any, uh, you know, money, I guess, or putting any, you know, time into Crawford and Ingus. Now, I haven't watched ESPN a lot, but I haven't seen a lot of promos running on ESPN about it. But, hey, we back. Good Fellow Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. And, uh, you know, it's no, it's no, I'm not going to ignore something. Somebody send me an email, you know, somebody asked me to speak on it. I'm not going to ignore it. All right. I'm going to do the video. Unless it's just some ludicrous or stupid or something. I can just explain why I won't do the video to you in private. But I definitely, uh, glad that Davion brought this up because this flew over my head. This, this fight wasn't even on my mind to be quite frank, man. I'm, th you know, when he sent it, I'm like, I'm like, damn, and I, I'm I'm kind of moving and shaking as I'm reading the, you know, the email, and I'm like, damn, bro, right? They ain't even did nothing for this fight. You know, they could even did a little meeting. They could even did a little meet and greet for the Jamil Heron fight, even though that wasn't. I don't know exactly where that fight was at, but they could have just used the Jamil Heron fight to promote the Crawford fight. Real talk. They, that's what PBC do. They got to fight that weekend. You know what? Instead of going out to New York or going out to Vegas, hey, man, we just going to announce this fight this weekend. It's cheap. It don't cost no money. The media are already there, so they ain't got to fly here Saturday and then fly here to, uh, Monday or Tuesday for the press conference. Y'all already here. Y'all get the double dip. Y'all get the, this press conference, and y'all get the fight. You know, and... Bob Arum ain't doing him no favors, man. Real talk. Only way Bob Arum gonna get black fighters is with, 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 with signing bonus money. And he said today, what's so funny about it, he had a little article on Boxing News 24, and it was a video, but they turned it into an article. And he says, me and Crawford has always, always got along. We never had no dispute. And if Crawford, you know, don't stand up for himself, behind the scenes, he ain't gotta make it public, which he has. And say, why are my fights ain't getting pushed, you know, like other fighters? I'm looking at PBC, man, and they celebrating their fights like it's 1999. In 89, like Prince. You know, and what they going to do, they're going to wait till the week of the fight. They're going to wait for the Heisman race and, and promote it. But Crawford deserve a press conference with Ingus. Lopez deserves some FaceTime with Richard Comey to size him up. Mick Collin deserves some FaceTime versus the guy who robbed him in the Olympics. We deserve a hype video. We deserve some press clippings. But if you ain't going to be in the public eye, you ain't going to be a public figure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So top rank, they just lazy at promote, man. Unless it's Lomachenko or it's Tyson Fury, they ain't going to promote nothing, man. You know, if Crawford ain't going to go up there and make a storm, or Crawford ain't going to go up there and let them know about themselves, then they going to treat you. When you let somebody do you like a certain type of way, you enable them to make sure to let them know that's okay. So you gotta you gotta cut that out early, but ain't no day in the life with Terrence Crawford on Bud Crawford TV on YouTube. You know, Richard Comey ain't doing no YouTube. And I know it's hard to focus on the camp and focus on production and editing, but sometimes you gotta do it yourself. Sometimes you gotta be out here recording yourself, going through your putting your training camp out there, sharing it on social media. And letting people know what's up. Sometimes you gotta promote yourself. But that's a that's a that's a hustler's mentality. And I think we already got that established. It ain't that too many hustlers in, in boxing. 
How can you learn to be a, a hustler when you was in boxing gyms your whole life? Ain't too many, uh, and they, ain't too many doers in boxing as far as you know promoting their own brand. AB, you can tell AB had the about billion show, and that helped grow his platform greatly. Man, that was a good little show he had going on. 10, 15 minutes every week or whatever, and that's it. You know, but this just shows you, this tells you right here, why should I care about Crawford and Ingus if I'm a fan? Why should I care about it if ESPN and Top Rank don't care about it? If they fail to promote the best shows out there, or they fail to let us know they got a show coming up, then why should I care? Seriously. That's what you got to ask yourself. Why should I care? You know, and I know Ingus don't speak English, and maybe they just figured it wouldn't be interesting and nobody cares, but Top Rank got their own way of doing things. They do luncheons. PBC does do press conferences and stuff of that nature. And, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, you can't be no star, you know, when your promotional company ain't promoting you. I'll tell you that right now. You can't be no star without press conference. You can't be no star without press clippings. But, you know, Crawford just seemed to be an introvert anyway, okay? He seemed to not want to talk to people. He talk, He seemed to not want to do the press conferences. He'd be up there. He seemed like he don't want to be talking to people like that. He just want to fight. And if you want to fight, then you you just make, you, you happy with the money you're getting, then you can't get mad at him. You know, you can't. But if you want to be a star, you want to make a lot more money. You want to be remembered. You know, you want to go down as that guy did. You got to apply pressure. Not just pressure on other fighters to fight you. You got to apply pressure on your promoter to, to, to get these press conferences. And you know what? You know, he was never going to get that Earl Spence fight. Unless he 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 straight disrespected that dude. He gets some camera. He ain't that type of guy. Floyd Mayweather never would have got the Oscar De La Hoya fight if he never had, was that three, four, five years of verbal assault on Oscar De La Hoya? After a while, De La Hoya said, man, I got to fight this guy. That's what De La Hoya said, man, we got to fight. He going to stop calling me all these names. And if Terrence Crawford ain't willing to, to tr straight assassinate Errol Smith's character, if he ain't willing to go lower than low, if he ain't willing to play dirty, if he ain't willing to go all in on Danny Garcia and strip him of his, strip him of all his masculinity and make him look like a feminine clown, he ain't willing to go in on his daddy and punk them in person and pull up on them with cameras and obliterate them. If you ain't willing to pull up on Sean and K Diddy and, and obliterate them and assassinate their character. You ain't willing to pull up on Keith Thurman and assassinate his character. What you got to do is you got to stoop, stoop low. You got to you gotta make it hurt. You got to be like Mr. T. That's the one thing about Rocky that was real. Ain't no way Rocky could call himself a man after he let Mr. T go in on him and his wife like that. Ain't no way. Sometimes you got to play dirty to get what you want. And Crawford ain't willing to do that. So Crawford's just going to be a forgotten fighter. That's what it's going to boil down to. A lot of these dudes gonna be forgotten fighters. He gonna be stuck fight Ingus, and he gonna and he gonna just lose the will to fight because they not gonna play along with him. Or he gonna be fighting Regis, Jose, Josh Taylor. He gonna be fighting up and comers. And before you know it, he gonna be that 35, 36 year old fighter fighting a twenty year old, 22, 25, 26, 27 year old fighters. That's just what it's gonna boil down to. You know, he didn't do his part. Bo Mac did his part trashing them dudes, but that got to come from the fighter, dude. It got to come from the fighter. He was supposed to be out there pulling Earl Hokar. He was supposed to be out there pulling Danny, Keith, Sean Hokar. Fuck being friends, dude. It's a business at the end of the day. If you standing in between me and me being, you know, the best welterweight and the best pom pom, -pom fighter in the world, well, shit, you're going to have to get ran over. And if you ain't got that mentality, then you're going to end up you know, you're going to end up like a forgotten fighter. And your promotional team don't look out for you. Your network don't care for you. This is what you get. Fight Ingus, and nobody going to care. Only they going to hang around because of the Heisman. But, hey, it's Good Fellow Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business questions, card, sponsorship, video requests. Appreciate the love, support, want to make a donation. Link in the description. Best way to donate, share the video. One time for the one time. Good Fellow Sports TV. We gone.